All right. It is September 10th. The dearth is pretty much over. Goldenrod is in full bloom in northern Illinois, so the bees are bringing in the pollen. Uh, they're looking pretty good, so I'm not doing very much. Uh, I stopped feeding. I gave them uh, a gallon while I was away, and then uh, about a half gallon when I returned just to see where they were going, and they did take it. Uh, these first couple frames you're going to see very large, a lot of uh, uh, a lot of stored honey, which is good. They're not drawing out uh, those three frames, or three or four frames closest to the feeder. Not unexpected uh, through the dearth. They're probably not putting a lot of comb up, uh, prioritizing. So uh, just taking a look here, trying to see how they're doing. And then you're going to see me do a little bit of a shuffle of the frames here as I want to not create such a honey wall and see if they will um, draw out those undrawn frames and uh, see if they want to use them as extra brood. If not, just motivate them to, to fill those frames since those are going to be good for winter stores. Here I thought I was probably going to see some eggs, maybe some brood. Uh, they seem to have left that center portion, but there were nothing but some open cells. I don't know if they had used them previously and I missed it, but um, definitely drawn out and honey at the edges. Well, the big lesson for this one is that you definitely have to add some wax to these frames. The standard wax isn't really attractive to them, so they pulled out one side, and um, but mainly in the middle. And then on the other side, there are there is a little bit of brood, so the, the queen has moved uh, around that centerpiece, as you're going to see uh, in a moment. I really go after that center because I wanted to see what they what they've done with that. Um, special middle section that uh, kind of separates the two halves of the hive. So the trick here is I've got to slide out from the center uh, this middle frame and this this holds minis normally but it's got the right um, the right height to make sure that there's room to go around and um, so as you'll see a little bit different shaped normally meant for the mini frames but works really well for the center and it only had a starter strip on it when i put it in here so they have drawn it out um, and most of it was empty i was expecting to find eggs in this one i can see a, a few drones in here they still haven't started kicking the drones out yet and Yep, I'm looking around just to see if there's the, the queen, but as you can see, a lot of drones on this. Here on this side, a lot of open comb. So there's a lot of space. It looks like the queen hasn't picked up yet. Uh, later on, spoiler alert, uh, I do find more eggs and such on the other side, but... Uh, but she seems to be heavily on the other side, especially in the center, um, center of that side of the hive. So in the super, we've got the minis, and uh, you guys have probably seen quite a bit of these. I'm just doing a quick check to see uh, what progress, if any, was up here in the minis. There is some progress. They haven't really filled many. I think there's three quarter and a, a bunch of them, so I'm not messing with any of them. This definitely is where they're taking any of the fresh 
uh, nectar. I think they put a lot of the syrup uh, right next to it on, on the bottom, which is great. Um, I didn't pull the super. There's just a, I felt like there was a lot more room to for them to maneuver in there. So here we are in the main brood area. Uh, these are the frames. These are all deeps, and uh, the new fit first came in plus the, the deep frames. So we're going to take a look in here. I'm going to go through pretty methodically, uh, show you each frame, and take a look at each one. I just want to make sure that there's no signs of. Uh, any issues, if I can find the queen, great. I'm just looking for eggs and signs that everything is going well. And uh, especially, even though it's late in the season, I have learned this lesson. I'm watching for any signs that uh, super procedure or swarming that could potentially happen. But uh, So that's what I'm basically looking at. And I'm keeping the smoke as light as possible, but there are a lot of bees in this box. And so I just want to keep them down, um, keep them busy. The outside of this uh, doesn't shock me. It's the very outside of the box, so not too much uh, drawn out. On the inside, a lot of pollen on this side. Uh, some brood and larva, young larva didn't spot any eggs. You see me looking pretty hard in here uh, just because of the young larva. But um, looks like the queen came over here, but they've got a lot of resources. Definitely nice to see uh, at this end of the box. All right, frame two, we've got like what I think is a great um, brood pattern and uh, clear signs that uh, the queen is working and busy and we're making some new bees to take into the winter. So lots of new, I saw some emerging bees, uh, but resources again, you see a lot of pollen along the edges, you see cat brood, and uh, I'm kind of just trying to take a tight look, and if you're eagle-eyed, you can probably spot some of the young larva. Checking out uh, that cell at the bottom, but it's empty. Next up, this one was a little shocking. I thought for sure I was probably going to find the queen or I was going to find a bunch of eggs, but a lot of open cells. Uh, there is pollen and capped honey at the top, but quite a bit of open cells. Some capped fruit.
next frame was pretty much more of the same. Some young larva, but for the most part, this one was just really packed, as you can see. Uh, pollen, bee bread, and uh, some open cells. So they may have had a hatch from this area, and I'm just catching it before the queen gets back to it. Uh, some right there at the, the center, you see some capped. Again, a couple emerging, not too many, but a lot of pollen in here. A lot of bee bread. Look, like a broken record. Capped brood, and we have a uh, resource on the outside. Looking good, lots of pollen again. And uh, some cells drone at the, at the bottom. I did do a check for those, and they're either empty or uh, drones. Uh, some drones on the frame, as I can see. more room but now we're starting to see and we'll see if the camera picks it up I started to see some eggs and very young larvae in here so I started to pay a lot more attention to seeing if the queen was around uh, resource on the outside again a lot of pollen in here so they have everything they need uh, for sure which is confirmation that I'm good on I don't feel the need to do a lot of feedings but um, here I'm taking a really close look and just trying to note and make sure that I'm seeing the eggs. in the brood and you can see that this frame is has a lot of cat brood some resources on the outside still more pollen and a little bit of honey in the corners and I had started to consistently see uh, young larva in the bottom of those open ones so definitely have the queen working Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, we're getting close. I'm getting slower because I'm wondering when I'm going to run into the queen. So, And another full frame where we have a lot of cap brood. So still a lot of bees to be hatched. And I think with the coming out of the dearth, that probably why we have a lot of open comb is uh, things slowed down during the dearth. But there's a lot of new bees, still a lot of pollen in here. Uh, honey at the edges again. Again, at the risk of repeating myself, you can see some in the upper right here. You can see the young larva here where um, I did see eggs in here and across the top. So I'm just watching to see with you guys if uh, our queen is around and I missed her during the inspection. But being very careful again to watch uh, for this. But you can see a lot of the larva in here at different stages. Uh, you're very young and then there were some uh, some eggs in there. All right, this last frame, we're gonna take a look. It is next to that centerpiece, which does stick out, which is why you see that um, that kind of bump in the middle there. That is where the cross member for the center touches. So not a big deal. They seem to be dealing with it quite well. And uh, brood at the bottom. You've got uh, some pollen in there, honey. didn't see the queen and was very, very, very slow and methodical on putting everything away. Definitely do not want to make a mistake at this point and, uh, and squash a queen. All right, at this point, I'm just going to close things up. It looks pretty good. I don't see anything I want to complain about. I'm just going to keep letting them do what they're doing and I'll keep watching in case they need something. So doing a little cleanup 
and uh, I'm gonna put the super back on, get them situated, um, and then I do a little fix on some of these uh, super frames, just uh, a little lot of sorts when I had it on the side, and then I'm gonna end with showing you the entrance board and seeing what's coming in, uh, just the activity. Give you a couple of that uh, while I run things back to the garage.